fear of loud noises and fear of being dropped. Those are the only two innate fears that we are born with as infants, as babies. All other fears have been acquired throughout the course of our lives thus far. And they've been acquired by our own experiences, by thoughts of others, by experiences of others, and then by our own mind extrapolating next steps or sequences of events that could occur should we decide to pursue a particular path. Now, I am not discounting any and all fears that are related to health and safety of ourselves and those, those who are closest to us, but it is important to understand that way too many fears that we have or we attribute as fears are imaginary, are made up. So what's the worst thing that can happen if you try something in your career or in your business and you fail? All right, you're in the same place you are now. Or maybe you're a little bit further back. You're still around. You can still figure this out. Others have tried and failed. And nothing major in life, in history of the world, has ever been accomplished by anyone who is afraid to try and attempt something new. Ever. They all took risks at their times and were often made fun of and ridiculed at that time only to be regarded as visionaries and leaders decades later. I say this because I spoke with a friend recently and about a particular opportunity that's in front of her and every single time she would say, I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of failure, I'm afraid of what happens if I do this and it doesn't work out, what will others say? I'm afraid of giving up the comfort and cushy environment that I currently live and operate under, and so forth. Obviously, my response is as someone who embraces risk and challenges and is um, open to them in general. Um, my questions were always, you know, on the other side of that coin, and my responses were. What happens if you don't even try? This is something that's been on your mind for months or years, and now it's in front of you, and you're doubting yourself. You're afraid of taking that next step. Do it. So what happens if you fail? Who cares? At the end of the day, everybody has their own problems, their own challenges, and their own failures. And don't allow failures of others to dictate your own opportunities and your own next steps and risks that you're willing to take. At the end of the day, it's about being happy, fulfilled, and growing in whatever you're doing. And I don't mean that in financial or title or corner office perspectives. I mean in internal happiness, joy of contributing to others, to your families, to your friends, to your communities, to your towns wherever you may live, to your countries, to the planet as a whole. So if you have an opportunity that's been on the back of your mind consistently, that you cannot shake, and it keeps coming back month after month, month after month, that may be something you want to pursue. Obviously, do your own risk assessment, so to speak, but take some risks and take some chances in life because most of the things that we fear have been acquired, are incomplete, and are built upon insufficient information. What's the worst thing that can happen if you try a new opportunity and it doesn't work out? It's a lesson learned and you move on towards the next one. I wish you all the best, have a wonderful day, and think about the fears that you have, that you're, that you're surrounded with, and how many of them are real and justified, and how many of them are simply excuses for not taking a risk and trying something new.